Hey boys, welcome back to some more Spinball and Career Mode, part two of this test match against the Kiwis, and we're in a extremely dominant position at the moment. Um, a big, a big lead. So our second innings here, as you see there, average of 28. We've got 100. <laughs> we've actually only played the six test matches, so it's been a, you know, we've we've done a fair, you know, there's been a lot of episodes of this series, but I haven't actually played that many test matches. I've talked about in the first part that you know, we haven't really fulfilled our potential, but I mean, the average is around 30, we've got the 100, we haven't got any 50s, which is, which is a bit weird, but yeah, a good chance to, um, you know, come out and again, sort of let loose a little bit, we would like to personally get a decent score, but lead of 260, I mean, the way the, the, the Kiwis bat in that first innings, we might not need too many more runs, honestly, but you know, we'll, we'll bat for as long as we we need to, or as long as we can, honestly, um, just try to get a little, little bit of form going into future, future matches, uh, Nisham coming into bowl, and, uh, once again, it's going to be our Queensland teammate, Usman Kwaja at the crease, as, uh, just so slow, could not, could not get the timing with, uh, Jimmy Nisham here, as that one's worked off the pads for, for a single, so not coming out as uh, as confident as the first innings. First innings, we actually started beautifully with a few nice shots. As uh, that time, Sodi, another another wrong, and he bowls heaps of wrong ones in this uh, in this game. That time, we picked it nicely and just swept it down to uh, fine leg for a, for a couple of runs. And you know, we uh, we got out to a decent decent bowling. I mean, I actually felt like we were playing pretty good this time. We <laughs> tried the reverse sweep. It was a decent shot actually, but hit the. Uh, the silly mid off there, uh, a little annoying, um, or silly, silly point is that, I, I don't know, I always get confused, I'm pretty sure it's silly mid off, <laughs> but, um, yeah, as, uh, this one we try to flay through the offside again, niche him, he's 110 k's, so I just, I could not get any away from him, 6 off 15, where <laughs> we're struggling quite a bit to actually get bat on ball in this innings, that time we finally, finally get it through the gap, no timing once again, but pick up a couple of runs, and you know, you're going to have, going to have innings like this, this is what I love about Don Bradman, you can't just come out and score, score runs all the time, like it's going to, occasionally it's going to, it's going to be hard, it's going to be a challenge, like this is a test match against quality, you know, fairly quality, I don't think, I don't think this is like a great New Zealand team in the game, probably, you know, I'm sure it would have changed a bit, is that some big outside edge, we, oh, I don't know how we didn't carry, Southie would be spewing there, and then we almost run ourselves out, like that was, that was shambolic, but um, we survived, so a bit of luck going our way right there, and uh, this one, finally a little bit of timing, it's still not going to go for a boundary, but we pick up another couple, so 12 of 25, it's, um, you know, <laughs> we thought we'd come out and just have a bit of fun here, get a few quick runs, but where we're sort of digging in here, just trying to get through a bit of a, bit of a tough, tough spot, but that is a beautiful shot, that's what we got to do against the spinners, use our feet, um, get to the pitch of it, it was a, it was a wide delivery, or a bit of a risky shot, because, you know, if we missed it, we were gone, we were stumped, um, but, you know, we got to it, hit it nicely through that vacant uh, cover region. And then the next ball, <laughs> the superhuman keepers. I mean, I, I can't complain too much. We picked up a couple of wickets like that in the first innings bowling, but uh, it was a little frustrating to get out like that. I felt like we were finally starting to to time the ball a bit better as Kwaja and I think Neville picked up 100. Um, so a couple of decent knocks there. And we come in here with the massive total to defend the Kiwis. I mean, there's still a long time in this game. Like, if, I don't think they can play the play the match out. But, you know, they'll probably go for the win. 552 is the target. You know, if the first innings is anything to go by, it's going to be a struggle. But, you know, they're off to a, a, a decent start once again. These two did play pretty well in the first innings. But couldn't quite... Neither of them went on to a big score, which is obviously an issue, that is a beautiful shot though, by Mitchell, um, just working with, that with the spin, that's a, that's a clever shot, whipping it off the pads, and uh, moving on to 21 off 20, so they, they're moving at a fair rate here, but that, oh, just slowed it up a little bit, he went for the big, uh, the big shot, and 
again, just missing everything. Once again, bowling with a fairly new ball, so it's going to have a bit of bit of bounce to it. And this one just sliding across him, a little bit of bit of a wrong in there. Um, again, we've <laughs> we found our mark pretty early in uh, in our bowling here. A uh, a good shot by Mitchell to hit the four, but other than that, we've we've bowled pretty well. Had him in a bit of bit of trouble like the first innings. Uh, but we come back here and we have picked up a few wickets. It's going to be Williamson, their best batter. And Nisham, the uh, decent all-rounder. I don't really rate Nisham too much. But that is a fantastic delivery to pick up Kane Williamson. That, that's just... Oh, man. I still cannot understand how people don't like Don Brown in Cricket 17. Like, I just love... This game is awesome, dude. The spin bowling is fantastic. Look at this ball. Just... That is just your perfect delivery. I say that a lot. Like, <laughs> the outside edges, I say perfect deliveries. But just ones like that, he's just... It's spun back to between the gate. Good keeping by Neville. It was a little strange. He threw the ball onto the stumps, but... What a wicket. What a what a way to get the wicket. So, one for 12. We're into our, our, our spell here. A bowling to a couple of left-handers, and we're going to pick up our second wicket. And uh, that was something I talked about in the first inning as well. Those uh, silly mid-ons, silly mid-off fielders are... Are fairly fairly vital they come into play quite a bit and this one again a little bit slower once again just um a little bit of turn and he just hits it just jams it into his front pad and uh, a nice catch in close there so we are uh, we're starting to rip through the uh the new zealanders here five for 55 they are they are in all sorts bj watling he's a bit of a you know he's a solid solid batsman and Corey anderson is dangerous but i feel like these two aren't going to uh to really cause us too much too much problems the way we're bowling obviously the other bowlers are, are going pretty well in the meantime but into our six over we've already got two wickets and uh that is going to be our third <laughs> once again peter neville taking an absolute screamer um first slip there i don't know who's in first slip it looks who was that I don't know who it is, but he didn't really make an attempt to get to that. It was probably it was probably more his catch, but Peter Neville, he's, he's just had a field day at uh, at keeper there. And we're already into the tail enders. They, they have a pretty long tail, this New Zealand side. And we come back here, 8 for 98. Sodi on strike, and that is extremely close. I go up big time for that. The confidence is low, but I was always going to challenge this. Like, this is... This is close. Like, it might be... It might have hit him just outside the line of off stump. That's that's what I was feeling. But I thought, let's just go for the challenge. There's only two wickets to go. A massive turn there. And it looks like it's hit him in line. But... And it looks pretty good. Like, on live replay here, like, that looks pretty straight. I, um... When I saw that, I'm like, this is out. It was a bit flatter, a bit quicker. Sharp turn. And... It, the, the height looked pretty good. Like, usually the ball bounces over, but I thought that looked pretty good. Like, it was nice and flat, but it has umpire's call. It's going just outside off stump, apparently, and it is missing. It's just missing leg stump. The height again, dude, I, I thought it was good. I thought it was good, but, you know, I think the challenge was was warranted there. It was a, it was a tight one. It was a good delivery, and... Uh, we don't need it. Next ball, we're going to get Sodi with um, just another one. A little bit quicker, a little bit flatter. And once again, just nice turn. And that meant again in close. He's taken another another nice catch, just staying down with the play. Again, just hitting it into his pad there. In the inside edge, off the pad. And a nice a nice catch. So we got the 4 for 16 into our ninth over. It's brilliant. Brilliant bowling. Can we pick up the 5 for though? We didn't get in the first innings, but... I, I mean, I'd love to get it here. So, got a couple of tail enders to bowl to. And that one's close. I actually, I thought there was a bit of an inside edge or an edge. And I thought it was a catch, but apparently not. We could have challenged, but I don't think he did edge it. So, still bowling to the lefty. He's, he's left it. Bit of a risky leave there. Um, but I think, you know, we got a, we got a nice field. I like the slips. I like the men in close. It's playing back. It's not a. It's not the greatest play. I wouldn't be playing back to to deliveries like that. But uh, Tim South, he's he's they're digging in. 18 off 72. My God, it's uh good stuff. But that, <laughs> what a ball and what a catch. I mean, it, that one was actually a nice simple catch. But that is what a wicket. What a way to finish. Just 
he's he's ch- he's challenging it. Oh, I remember this. I remember playing it. This is just so I, I found this so funny, but also cool because they've gone for the challenge because it's the last wicket. You know, it doesn't make any sense, but we get to see it on replay. Like, look at that delivery. That is just a perfect delivery. I said it before. I'll say it again. <laughs> it's a perfect, a perfect leggy wicket. And I know he's a Chinaman, but I'll call him a leggy. Look at that. Just turning in, catches the outside edge, and just an actual realistic catch a keeper. Just, just flicking the edge, and a yeah, a nice simple catch for once. Tim Southey, he dug in there with McLennigan, but uh, he's got to go. We pick up the Fifer. We just had an outstanding game with the ball. I mean, the whole team went well. I mean, Kawaja, Warner. Kawaja probably should have got man the match, but we do pick up man the match. You know, we, we scored a few runs, got nine wickets. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.